What's up, my name is Jay and in this video, I wanna teach you how you can use CSS attribute selectors to style your website. I think they're very helpful. A lot of people don't understand them. A lot of people don't use it because they don't know that they exist. So I wanna help you understand this and you can use it for your website and you know style it. So when I say attributes, attributes are all this, like for example, class is an attribute here. ID is an attribute, this data year is an attribute. So inside all these attributes, we have all this data so we can target this specific HTML and we can style it or we can um, change the behavior depending on, on this data and all that stuff. So we are gonna use it to style it and we're gonna use all these selectors um, to help us. So here we have is a list, it's an HTML list with different um, classes and, and attributes and all that stuff. I added here some basic uh, CSS and you can see here we have some shadow and background. So what I'm gonna do is change the background depending on this data that we have inside these attributes, okay? So let's start by um, list li. And um, here's the trick. To target attributes, all you need to do is brackets, and it's gonna be the square brackets, okay? And now let's say that we wanna target the inactive um, class. So we can say class equals to inactive. All right, and now we can style it like background black. And here you can see that it changed. Let's change the font so we can see it, the font color um, to a white. There you go. So now we can see that um, we're saying the class, if is equal to an active, then do this. And you can see that list item four have the class with an active. Um, list item five have the class of an active. And it seems like seven and 10 they have it too, and you can see that the background color changed. So that's cool, um, but maybe you're saying, yeah, but maybe I can just you know, create a class of an active and just put a background color there and that's it. Yes, I understand that, but take a look at this now. So now I wanna say, if the class contains the active, doesn't matter where, you're gonna put the background color black and font white. Now take a look at this. Even that we have active dash to active, um, inactive, every single one of them have the active inside of them. So that's when this is very helpful. All right, so now let's do another one. This is the asterisk. Let's use the tilde. And now the tilde is this symbol, this one right here. All right. And you can see here that I have um, black panther and then I have black dash panther and then I have black space panther. So let's change the active to panther so you can see what I'm talking about. So the tilde is just telling me, telling the code that we want panther only if it's space separated, okay? only if it's space separated. So you can see this one, Black Panther, it have a dash between black and panther. So it's not space separated. So this one is black space panther, and this one is black space panther. And you can see now that we have list item six, which is this one, and list item nine, which is this one. They changed the background to black and the font to white. If I remove this dash from here and put a space on it, then you can see now that list item eight is actually um, black because now Panther is space separated. If I change it back and add a dash, now it doesn't, it's not space separated. So that's the tilde, right? And the next one is the carrot which is this one right here. And this one is, is telling us if it starts if it starts with, so if it starts with whatever you want. So let's say if it starts with 
um, let's say AC from active. Oops. All right, so you can see that um, all these ones are starting with the AC because we have active, 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 AC, AC, AC. So you can see it's like, it's very, very helpful if you wanna target um, very specific, it doesn't matter what it have here. So I can just put random letters here. And because it started with AC, it's actually changing the style. It doesn't matter what you have here. Okay, so that one is very, very helpful. The next one is the pipe, which is this one right here. So the pipe is if, con if it contains a dash separated value. And when I say that is I have a example here, data year, and you see 2017 dash 2018. So this is actually dash separated. All right, so we can say instead of class, we can change it to data dash year equals um, pipe equals to 2017. There you go. And here you can see list item five starts with the 2017 and we can target that one instead of this one here that have 2018. But remember, this is specifically for dash separated. So if you have like um, 2017, 2018, dash um, 2019, dash 2020, for example, let's say this is a list. You just wanna say if this list separated by dash starts with 2017, or you can say 2017 hyphen 2018. So it's the same thing, it's starting with that then you, you're targeting that specific. So if we change this to 2018, which is this one right here, let's change it. Now we're targeting this one, which is starting by in 2018. So if, if I add 2018 here now, like this, now we're targeting both. And you can see that both are changing the background. The next one is the dollar sign. So let's change the pipe to a dollar sign right there. And this is telling us if it end with, if it ends with, okay? So let's change data year to class. And here you can see that I have um, two of them that have active dash two and active dash two. So I can say like, if it ends with, with two, for example, there you go. You can see that we are targeting now um, list item one and list item three, which is ends in two. I can say like if it ends in a VE, for example, like an active. So I can say VE. And there you go. You can see all of these ones are ending in VE. So you can be very, very specific and you can actually um, have two of them. So you can open brackets again and you can say class um, equals to an active or active, let's say active. And now we are saying, let's say two. Um, no, you know what? Let's say class contains active. So it contains active and Mm, let's see what we can do here. And class contains, uh, let's say, black. All right, let's see if this is true. So I'm saying like if the class contains black and the class contain active, then give it to me. So let's say um, it's saying list item six, which contains active and black, okay? And the eight and the nine. Yep, that's true, they contain black and active and you can actually it doesn't have to be the contain it can be start start with or end with um but you i think you could you get the idea of what it is and i think that's it so i hope you understand now how you can use all these um attribute selectors in your css and that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.